welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos nuevamente a mi canal. What's up? What's good? I hope you guys are doing good. So in today's video, I will be doing this Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. It's like a cut crease, kind of not brown liner type of situation going on with a little heart on the side. I know. I am trying a few different things in today's video, a few different combination of products and whatnot. So if you want to see how that turned out, then stay tuned. But before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also turn on your bell notifications so you do be notified every time I post a new video. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I did my brows and I also primed my eyes, as you guys can see. We're going to be using the Sigma Ambience Eyeshadow Palette. You guys know I love, oh my God, Sigma sent me some new brushes, Lord Jesus. And I was waiting for like, I don't know what I was waiting for, but I was like, I'm gonna wait and like try them in a little bit, whatever. So they've been sitting on my desk for like a month. When I tried those brushes, oh my God. Those are like the best brushes I've had, like in my whole life, period. When I started doing makeup, Sigma was like the first brush company where I was like, okay, I want them brushes. I'm going to like invest my money. I mean, Sigma is pretty cheap, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like it's a good quality brand, but those brushes that they sent me, re the last set of brushes that they released, oh my lord. I am love. I, I feel like I need to change out all my brushes for those. That's where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? Like, that's how good they are. I'm going to take the shade Oasis, which is this one right here. I'm just going to put it on my crease. Okay, so when I got my lashes done, like, let's just talk about the situation. Let's just address the elephant in the room where I am a hairless cat right now. Yeah. So, um... I told myself back in December, last time I got my lashes done was for Christmas. So I told myself that I was not going to be doing my lashes uh, like for at least three to four months after, after that set, right? So I knew that that was going to be my last set, but they've been lasting me extremely long. Like I took them off yesterday and I still had mad lashes left. Like crazy amount of lashes left i'm like maybe i should just go get a refill you know you get it but like i was like no because i told myself i wasn't gonna go get my lashes done for the next three to four months of 2022 um i wanted to have like i wanted to let my lashes like take a break you know because i've had lashes on consistently since the first time i got lash extensions which was in october so i've had lashes on consistently for four months october october november december january yes four months so i was like i feel like i should let my lashes like take a break then i'm gonna take this one right here the middle shade i don't know how to pronounce that but summer something i'm gonna take that shade right there so i'm gonna put that like above where I put my crease color like closer to my brow bone type thing the last shade is going to be enriched which is this dark chocolatey shade up here and that I'm gonna put on my outer V and like intensify my crease Okay, so today is literally just like makeup and vibes, you guys. I have an idea in my head, which is what I'm doing, but I don't know how that's going to look. So this is going to be very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to take the lightest shade off the palette, which is this one right here. I'm just going to put that on my lid. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Appeal Gel Liner in Deep Top. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce that color, but whatever. And I'm just going to create a liner. Now that we got that kind of out of the way, I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with an angled brush, and I'm going to use the Guide Beauty. This is the Guide Beauty Gel Liner in a brown. So it looks like this. Yes. It's giving. It is very much so giving. So I'm going to use the Ace Beauty um, Grandiose Palette. 
I got this a long time ago. I barely use it. It's even like broken and everything. But I am going in for this shade right here. Tweezers and just scrape up a little bit of the color on the palette. Take the brush, a pencil brush. Put the Duraline on, Duraline, Duraline, and then you dip it in the color. Okay, so I'm done with the eyes. I am done with the lashes. I don't know if I explained it because I was just too concentrated. But I basically just made like a half cut crease line. I don't know. And then I did the same thing on the bottom of the eyeliner, the winged liner. So I'm going to go in with the No Pore Blend Prime Essence. You guys know I love this. Um... I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use the Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. These two combined. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is going to be the Pixi Beauty um, On The Glow Blush. And this is in the shade Juicy. I'm just going to put that here. I'm just going to blend that out. I'm literally just tapping it in. So for concealer, I'm actually going to use the Ofra foundation. Uh, this is in the shade 725. Now that I applied the concealer, I'm just going to blend out wherever I applied it. I mainly applied it under my eyes, but I also applied some on the sides here just to cover up the acne marks that I have. I'm going to take the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Concealer in the shade uh, Natural and I'm going to use that as my highlighting shade. And I just put that right here. Uh, for foundation, I will be using, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris, uh, this is the water infused tinted moisturizer, um, because I haven't used this in a minute, and I want to see how the color match is right now. I know I'm going to have to mix it anyways though, so I'm going to take this, and then a little bit of the Ofra foundation in 725, just because I know this is used to be very red on me it's giving orange and i don't like that i don't like that i'm gonna take a little bit of the ofra a whole pump i did a whole pump of that it is giving very orange you guys unfortunately uh it's giving very orange i don't know if you guys can see that i don't know if the camera is picking it up i really don't know but that's besides the point. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go in with my blending brush again to blend out my concealer. I think I let it sit for way too long. Yeah, don't let your concealer sit for this long. You're going to have a hard time blending it out. And I'm just going to tap over my concealer. And then I'm going to go over my whole face. I look sunburnt. That's what it is. Because this is so red. So now we're going to set my face. We have my powder concoction. Then we have the Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder. I'm probably going to use my powder concoction because I've really been loving it a lot lately. I feel like I want to go into this same palette that I used earlier and I want to take that brown up here called cinnamon and I want to put that on my lower lash line. Go in with this shade right here. I'm going to go in with that. I'm just going to contour. So then I'm going to try this brush for bronzer. I don't know how it's going to go because I'm used to my brushes my bronzer brushes to be kind of like this this one is very fluffy and pointy but when you put it on here it like gives you that it covers 
you know and then this one it's literally made for that so it covers the whole area this one is fluffy and like big per se wide but it's narrow towards the ends of the hairs I don't know if, if you guys can see the shape right there it goes like this so I don't know if this will be very good for bronzing but it will be very good for contour I know that so for my bronzer I will be going in with the Morphe this is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette in 8H. You guys know I love this palette and I already hit pan on one of my favorite colors. Uh, and I've had this for the longest time. I have like three of them. But um, I'm going to be mixing this and this shade right here. These two. And I'm going to use it as a bronzer. Now we're going to go in with the Becca Cosmetics. This is the Finishing Veil in Vapor 4. You guys know this is my shade. I'm just going to go over my face in the areas I might not have put any powder. So I'm going to take my highlighter blush and my highlighter palette, which are both from Sigma. But you know what? I didn't plan this. I mean, I didn't. I really didn't. So I'm going to take... This shade was called Sunstone right here. I feel like it's a nice pinkish um, shade to go for with today's look. It is stunning, actually. That's a beautiful shade. I'm just going to take a small brush, and I'm just going to put some on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to take my Ofra HD. What I want to do is that I want to make a little heart. Uh, like right here, I think. Okay. So, I just did a little heart right here. Because the other one was too big. So, I have to go ahead and like remove it and redo it and whatever. I didn't fill it in. It looks kind of cute like it is right now. That's the only thing I'm doing to my face. Like, that's the only extra thing that I'm doing. Because you guys know I'm very basic. Like that. Like, I don't really be... I don't really need all that, you know? So I'm going to line my lips with this. Then I'm going to take my Savage Clear Gloss that I never released. Okay, so this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. Uh, one of a few, because I have a few in mind. Let's hope and pray that I do get them up before Valentine's. But um, yes, this is the final look. I love it. I love how it came out. I look stunning and the little heart is just doing it for me it's super cute anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also turn on bell notifications so you do get notified every time i post a new video okay